Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today's episode is going to be more of a laid back impromptu unscripted style video where we're going to be revisiting the 20th anniversary special edition copy of Windows XP that I recently took a look at on this channel. So if you haven't seen this video, I'll have it up in the cards as well as down in the video description. In this video, we unboxed and took a look at this special, this really rare copy of Windows XP that was released back in 2005 to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Windows. So I'm not really going to get into the entirety of it because, well, I'll just save that for past me if you haven't seen that video. But chances are, if you're watching this one, you probably have seen that video and you're interested in what the title of this video is, which is what we're gonna be taking a look at today. And that is going to be one of the additional CDs that you could have gotten with this pack, but was not included in the box when you bought it. And that's what I was talking about towards the end of this video here, where I showcased this card here. And what you would have to do is uh, go online to the link here that they have in this or on this piece of paper, and you would use this code here to order your copy of a early preview build of Windows Vista and a Windows 20th anniversary desktop theme and video CD-ROM. And I was really interested in those two pieces of media. And like I said in that video, I did not have, they did not come in that box. So the person who purchased this originally either never did this, never went to this site and entered this validation code here, or they did and they just didn't include them in the box for whatever reason. I'm leaning more towards the former. Either way, I don't have them. Luckily though, I got uh, reached out to the other day by Beta Collector, actually today, earlier today, when I'm making this video. He posted this article on uh, Paul Thurrett's website. He was lucky enough to get those two additional CDs and he's got an image of them. Uh, well, I've actually, I've actually got it up in this tab here. So this is an image of these two discs. So this right here is what we're gonna be taking a look at today. This is the 20th anniversary video and desktop theme CD-ROM. And this over here is the build of Windows Vista. Now, the reason why this was not included in the box when you got it is because it didn't exist at the time, right? Windows Vista shipped in uh, late 2006. And I believe this uh, preview build here, at least according to the copyright date is from early or, or mid 2006. We may actually take a look at this later on in the video to verify what build that it actually is. But uh, the main focus is going to be this CD-ROM right here. Now, what I find interesting too is in Beta Collector's article here, he does mention that apparently you could actually mail in this, which I didn't even notice this when I unboxed my, my package, but apparently there's a little uh, coupon right here that you could uh, mail in. You could mail in the coupon to Microsoft Japan during the same promotional period. And that is another way you could get these two CDs. So this right here is the CD case for the 20th anniversary desktop theme and video CD-ROM. And luckily for us, Beta Collector has archived both of these discs as well as the video. He's published the video to his YouTube channel. So yeah, huge thank you to Beta Collector. Yeah, there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and minimize this browser window here and we've got a Windows XP virtual machine set up with God, just a ton of, um, you can see all these files up here. Uh, this VM has been featured in a lot of videos. Uh, this was featured in the Win OS 10 video. That's why I've got the C drive named Macintosh HD. I do every so often just do a, a full clean install. Like I've got, you know, snapshots saved and everything. Anyways, I have not, and this is like a full disclaimer that I want to say, because this video I guarantee you is going to be on the longer side. And that is intentional because I wanted this video to really be me experiencing this for the first time with you guys. So I have not taken a look at the contents of this disc. I have a general idea of what's on the disc, right? I know there's that video and there's a desktop theme, but I don't know what the theme looks like. I haven't watched the entire video. So we're gonna be doing all of that today. And we're gonna see uh, if there's anything else on the CD that might be worth looking at. I mean, we're gonna take a look at everything, but it'll be cool to see what else is on the disc. So anyways. Enough rambling, let's go ahead and connect it to this VM right here. And we'll see if there's an auto run or anything like that. Oh, this software only supports a Windows XP Japanese version on your operating system. This software is not supported. I have a, a VM set up with a Japanese version of XP. So if we have to switch to that, it's not a problem, but it looks like it's, it looks like it's loading here. So let me get out good old uh, Google Translate here and we'll take a look at what these buttons are saying. So, okay. 
The top button is the video clip, the middle is the desktop theme, and the bottom is the website. Okay, so let's take a look at the video clip first, why not? Whoa, look at that. Wait, 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 hang on a second. Hang on a second. I gotta go. Look at this. Look, look at this monitor here. That is really cool. This looks like a, yeah, that looks like a tablet over there. This is like, this is, I've not seen this before. That That's pretty cool looking. Ah, bliss. What a classic. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's the video. And so I, I assume it gives you a little bit of an overview of it here. Um, let me pull out the translator here. Roughly, this is like a rough translation. To commemorate the 20th anniversary of Windows, we had prepared a video with a special, that special message from Bill Gates. Release event scenes such as Windows 95 and development secret stories and until the Microsoft Windows Vista that finally happened in 2006. Enjoy the 20th anniversary of Windows. Okay, so this right here is the theme. You can install this desktop theme created to commemorate the 20th anniversary of Windows screensavers and it's fun mice. I assume it's probably like a cursor pack featuring successive Windows product packages. Enjoy the text, the, the desktop theme is supposed to say that are only available on this CD. Okay, so let's let's check it out. Preparing to install. And so this is happening because we don't have the Japanese language pack installed. So the installer just doesn't really know what to display here. So everything that is supposed to be in Japanese not going to show up. This is accept here or this is I agree. So we'll just click on next. We'll click that. It's going to install. And I mean, yeah, it, like even though it said at the beginning there that, oh, this is not designed for use with this, it's installing. I mean, I don't see why like it wouldn't. I mean, it's still Windows XP. It's the same operating system. I assume it's wanting me to apply this here. So we'll click on OK. And by the way, like, holy crap, guys, I did not realize that so many people did not know that OK, when you have the properties panel open, does the same thing as apply because I've been getting like comments every so often, not like a whole lot, but I even posted a tweet about this because I was so like blown away. But just for those of you who legitimately don't know, when you're in a, when you're in a properties panel of any kind and there's an okay and there's an apply button, apply when you click it, applies the settings and keeps the window open. When you click OK, it both applies the settings and closes the window. So clicking OK, does the same thing as apply just it also closes the window so i guess some people think you have to click apply and okay you don't have to you can just click okay okay that's like a off topic ramble there but anyways so it looks like it's finished installing we'll click on finish here and uh okay here's the theme so it looks like i mean so it's changed the desktop wallpaper the luna theme has not been changed at all the visual style you know if we open up windows and everything here it's still the same but the icons have changed the recycle bin looks like a wine glass which is interesting so i guess this is let's see what it is when it's empty is it just gonna be like an empty wine glass oh listen to that isn't that cool it's like popping a you know bottle of champagne or whatever that's actually really cool you know what we're gonna do that again let's let, let's drag uh let's drag this to the recycle bin and we'll open it up and empty So not only is it the cork popping, but it's actually pouring a glass. That's really cool. It's an interesting sound effect for the recycling sound though. Anyways, uh, yeah, so it looks like you've got a, a cake for my documents. It doesn't look like it makes any changes to my music videos or, or pictures. So these are all still the same. Oh, okay, my computer is, you can barely make it out, but that is the Windows 1.0 box, I can tell. Yeah, it says Microsoft up here. So that is, that's a pretty good choice for my computer. So yeah, my my network places, it just adds this. So it looks like the original uh, network places logo, the uh, globe there, but it adds this present and 20th right there. My my documents, I didn't notice it before, but it is a, a cake, but it also has the word 20th there or not the word 20th. It has, it has 20th written out there. And yeah, recycle bin is the... Uh, wine bottle and the wine glass pretty cool it mentioned something about cursors let's go to um it's going to be under control panel and yeah i can actually see when i when i opened that up that the hourglass was different so let's go to classic view here let's go to mouse and uh pointers and okay so this right here is the 
custom theme. So working in background looks like a like a party hat almost. So oh, it's like a you know party popper. Yeah. So busy is it kind of exploding there? Working in background is just a little slight animation on it. Everything else though appears to be standard. The normal select, the main mouse cursor does not get changed at all. There aren't any changes made to the visual style. I was kind of hoping that there would be, but the visual style is still the same default blue variant of the Luna theme, which is fine, but uh, it does change the desktop wallpaper. Let's see if there's any screen savers. I don't know why it's like really lagging behind here. All of a sudden the VM is like, yeah, but, oh, it's it's busy. There you go. There's the so you got to see the uh, uh, busy cursor in action. So yeah, this is the desktop wallpaper. We'll go to screensaver. Um, oh, Windows 20th anniversary. Here it is. So let's see what this does. Looks like we need Flash Player. That's a great error message. <laughs> I just looked on the settings and it's like, oh, what? Like, what settings? Okay, so there is a workaround and it involves uh, installing Clean Flash. So we're gonna download the latest version here. Uh, boy, .NET Framework. Okay, .NET V4. Okay. Yeah, so this is some of the stuff that I usually cut out from these videos. Like, if I had taken a look at this before and was doing, like, a software overview video, like I traditionally traditionally do. I would have looked at everything. I would have written notes out. Uh, so I have everything kind of organized and I would have made sure that all this was installed properly. So you guys are getting to see kind of behind the scenes. Hooray, it's finished. So we'll click finish. And now we should be able to run. Let me find it here. Where are you at? Oh yeah, it was in my pal. Okay. All right. So we'll run this. I'm aware that Adobe Flash Player is no longer supported nor provided by Adobe Inc. Clean Flash Player is a third-party version of Flash Player maintained by Darkota. I'm probably pronouncing that name wrong. I, I apologize. Uh, built from the latest Flash Player version by Adobe with adware removed. Okay, agree. Yeah, let's uh, well, let's get everything. That's fine. Install standalone, create shortcuts. Yep. Uh, we're not going to install the debug version and install. All right. It's been successfully installed. Awesome. So... We'll close out of that and let's just see if we can test out the screensaver now. Oh, yep, yeah, we got a preview here. Okay, so it's not the the screensaver itself is in four by three, which is not uh, not that surprising. Oh wow, that's really cool. So it's got little little boxes of uh... this. Honestly, looks like it was something made in Windows Movie Maker with like the you know text. I mean, it's not the exact same animation, but it just kind of reminds me of that. Uh, so it's yeah, it's like a little history of Windows screensaver and it goes through with each date and the name now it's all in uh, English too. It's not in Japanese and So it occasionally throws one of the the boxes up on screen. So there's Windows 95 September 1996 Microsoft Windows NT workstation 4.0 June 1998 is going to be Windows 98 Next up is going to be Windows Me. No, Windows 2000. 2000 came before me. Except after XP. <laughs> gosh, that, no, that's a terrible rhyme. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, yeah, 2000 came before me, then Windows XP. So there's XP. And coming in 2006, Microsoft Windows Vista. Ooh, Ooh Windows Vista, guys. It's going to be so amazing. That is really cool, though really neat uh, and then it just it just restarts here so yeah I mean not the most not the fanciest screensaver in the world but it's a screensaver it'll get the job done uh, for you you know preventing screen burn-in that's for sure and oh yeah we got to take a look at the sound so let's go to control panel here go to sounds and audio devices and uh, let's see here let's scroll down to Windows startup let's see what exit Windows is okay exit Windows is still the same um, how about start windows? Okay, so you see this is not, so when it's a default sound, it'll just have the sound name here because it's pulling from the default folder. Uh, when you change it, it shows the entire file path in here. So you can see actually the, uh, the name is not displaying properly there, but we'll, uh, let me actually make sure the, cause I don't think my VM, yeah, my VM volume is like way low. So let's change that. And uh, let's hear what this sounds like. Dang, that's fancy. Play it again. 
pretty sweet. Okay. So yeah, that's the only one that it changes. It does not change the log on or log off. And of course we just saw shut down or heard shut down. Um, so we can, you know, it, it doesn't actually save this as a sound scheme. So you, you could save this if you want to, and we'll just call this 20th anniversary. So there we go. And uh, yeah, that is, so we took a look at, you know, the, the, the icons, the wallpaper, obviously the screensaver and the sounds and the cursors. So uh, that is the desktop theme. Like I said, I, I, I was really hoping that we would get a new visual style, but it's still pretty neat. I mean, hey, it was free after all. It was, you know, I mean, well, it was included with the package. So I guess, and it was something that you didn't have to pay for to get it mailed to you, at least as far as I know. Um, but it's still, uh, it's still pretty cool. And we can run it again here. And yeah, so I guess it shows this, uh, I mean, it doesn't like this is basically a lie here because the software works totally fine. The theme works totally fine. The auto run here works totally fine. We were able to play the video from it totally fine. So and I don't see why it wouldn't work. I mean, just running it on a different edition of, you know, like a different language uh, version of XP made for a different region because uh, it's the same operating system at its core, right? So it's not like Microsoft made an entirely separate version of Windows based on a different code base just for the Japanese market. Okay, so this button right here opened up a website, which is non-existent anymore, but luckily the Wayback Machine has an archived copy of it. So it's microsoft.com slash Japan slash Windows slash 20th, and there is a snapshot from November 24th, 2005. So we'll go ahead and actually, I mean, since this was shipped in 2006, we'll go to the snapshot in 2006 just to make sure we're seeing what you would have uh, seen. Okay, so we got two uh, redirect uh, ones here, but this one from June 15th is a direct snapshot. I wonder if, because when you hover over this, you see how you got this like timeline looking thing. I'm wondering if that's what we're gonna see here. Maybe not. What is this? Let's see what this is right here. Trivia, ooh, Windows trivia, okay. Uh, unfortunately, we can't actually read any of the trivia because uh, we don't have the proper um, language pack installed or anything. You know what, though? I have the Japanese copy of Windows XP installed in a VM, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and check that out. This first uh, question here is roughly saying how many disks was the original Windows version? It was five. How do, how, how do we select what it is though? Oh, are these the answer? Oh, these are the answers. Yeah, these are all answers. That's exactly what it is. Um, let's see what this is here. So this history of Windows button here takes you to this page. It uh, divides it by USA and Japan. So you can see uh, what was going on at Microsoft's home base here in the US and then what Microsoft Japan was up to over here. So that's pretty cool. So you can see, I mean, obviously like release dates and stuff like that are going to differ in, you know, different regions. So, I mean, things typically with American companies like Microsoft, things are going to come to the U.S. first and then to international markets later. Let's see over here. Uh, this, that's the yen symbol. Oh, I think, wait, what is this? 4,000, okay. Now is your chance cash back. You purchase the Target product during the period 4,000 yen cash back to customers. Oh, okay. Well, right down here it says that it ended uh, because this was after, yeah, this snapshot's from February 2006 and this ended on January 31st, 2006. So apparently you could get cash back, uh, I guess from, oh, so it's not just the 20th edition. It could just be with a standard release as well. At least I think that's what it's saying here. And yeah, that's exactly what it's saying here. So you could get cash back, apparently, 4,000 yen cash back if you purchased uh, one of these editions, which includes just the standard release of XP Pro and XP Home. So that's pretty cool. And what is this here? Okay, so we've got an American flag. We got the Seattle Space Needle here. So this is obviously an image of Seattle. Let's see what this says. Let's visit the US headquarters. Okay, I was kind of expecting this to be something like win a trip to the US. Okay, so the application has closed. That's what this roughly translates to down here. Um, right here, what does this say? Scheduled around May 2006. So apparently there was a a, a tour, a uh, round trip airfare from Japan, hotel expenses during your stay, meals are not included. 
Uh, so I guess this was like a like a contest or something right here. This is roughly translating to we will contact the winners. So this was a contest where you can actually win a trip to Microsoft's uh, U.S. headquarters. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Um, and we go to top here. This will just bring us back to the to the main page. So yeah, that's the that's the website. Unfortunately, not everything is loading because the Internet Archive in this case does not have these images. Um, archive and this is the only snapshot from from 2006 here now what is this evolution okay because i'm trying to see if there of course let me just let me swap back to this here the, the other vm i'm trying to see if this right here um where it looks like there's this timeline i don't know if that's just like on this cd in this auto run just to like illustrate like oh this is kind of what's going to be on the website or if this is actually a screenshot from the website and there's some like flash player object that likely is not going to work okay windows uh the birth of windows xp and the new windows uh, of course none of these translations are going to be completely accurate the japanese uh speakers in the audience who can read japanese probably are kind of going that's not exactly what that says <laughs> and uh yeah i mean i that's just how google translate is it is not going to be a uh an exact translation so uh i apologize in advance if i'm getting some of this stuff uh not not exact i do not uh, read Japanese. I do not speak Japanese. I don't understand Japanese. I can say like like a couple phrases in Japanese, but uh, I, I would I definitely would like to learn a little bit more before I actually go to that. I would love to visit Japan. Anyways, yeah, so that is this site here, but I mean that isn't anything exclusive to this CD-ROM in any way. I mean you could just literally go to that website and uh, you know, enter that contest if you wanted to. Though I wonder if it was like limited to people who bought this 20th anniversary thing, and if you had to like present proof of purchase or something. But that rebate, that 4,000 yen rebate, was not exclusive to it. You could just purchase, as you saw, just a, a regular uh, copy of XP Home or Professional. And that is it. There's this uh, other button down here which just closes it. And then you've got, okay, so you got a README document here, which just is going to give you, yeah, Flash Player. These are the recommended specs. Oh, here we go. Language Pack installation. Yes, I'd love to install that. Language Pack installed for Internet Explorer. Okay, so it's only going to be for IE. Now we go to Data. Um, so it looks like we've got, okay, here's the video. Here's the icon, a DPK file, and an MSI file to install the theme. So what is the DPK file? Let me... Go to, let's go to file info here. DPK, I don't know what this is offhand. Okay, according to file info, it is a Delphi package. File used by Delphi Windows Development Software may store a package for extending Delphi applications, runtime packages, or the Delphi IDE itself. But that is it, guys. I mean, that is the entirety of the supplementary CD. Uh, just very briefly, you know what, just for the heck of it, let's mount the copy of Windows Vista that was generously provided by Beta Collector. And okay, so it looks like Beta 2. Okay, so it's a it's a Beta 2 build. Uh, I wonder if it just tells you the build number here. I mean, I highly doubted that this was going to be like an exclusive build or like that they were just making for that. Like that didn't seem likely. So this is, this looks, actually, is this like the final beta two build? Or wait, ba these <laughs> these are beta one release notes. I guess they didn't change the, yeah, these are still beta one. You know what? We'll just install it. So you see that the install here is a little bit, uh, oh yeah, it's a little bit messed up. But uh, okay, not gonna get latest updates. December 2005. Oh, this is still beta one though. So this is not, yeah, they've they've not updated any of this here. So it looks like we have to, oh, do we have to do a clean install? Oh, it's enterprise, Windows Vista Enterprise Server Edition is not supported. Okay, so we're gonna have to, you know what? Let me go ahead and install this in a VM really quickly here and we'll come back and take a brief look at it. All right, so this particular build is actually, I find this interesting, it is a server build of Longhorn and the build number is 5270.winmain underscore idx 03.05.1214-1910. Now, uh, this build has been, I mean, it has been archived. Like, I, I downloaded this. I don't have this physically in my possession. So it has been archived on the Intron Archive, and I believe, at least doing a search for it here, um, it looks like Beta Archive has it as well. Uh, there is a wiki page over on betaworld.org. I've actually not heard of this site before. Uh, so, yeah, here it is. And, yep, that is it right there. Windows Server Codename Longhorn 5270 IDX03. Yep, looks the same to me. So that's interesting, but that is 
the build number if you were curious and that's essentially going to wrap it up for this video guys i mean yeah that is a look at not only this this copy of windows vista but obviously the main focus of this video was the 20th anniversary video and desktop theme cd rom and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this more impromptu off the cuff style video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below. Turn on those notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.